Uh, let's talk to America's Constitution coach, Rick Green, again. Rick, what a terrible story. That mom's son is murdered. One of the three people in the knife attack is released. Here we go, New York City. Can they turn this crime crisis around with these types of decisions? I don't think that these people in charge can do it. You know, Greg, look at Chicago. Look at so many of these cities where it's dozens and dozens of, of uh, murders and stabbings. And, I mean, just it, it's chaos. I mean, we literally have turned... Our, our wonderful, amazing American cities into cesspools of crime and decadence because of bad policy. This stuff does not happen by accident. But if prosecutors say we're not going to prosecute, if if we say we're going to let people out of jail regardless of, of what they do, you encourage more of this. It's not complicated. It's simple. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, the, these people, they, they announced they were going to use the Soros funded prosecutors. They said they were going to do these kind of things and the people still elected them. So now the people of these communities are having to live with the consequences of their own choices, I hope that changes their minds and they'll ultimately change the leadership and then we'll be able to turn around the situation like All you're right. talking about. Talking about changing leadership, the voters of Massachusetts, we just heard about it, doesn't look like the Democrats in Congress are running to support their president either. Here's AOC on his pledge to run again. Um, you know, should he run again? I think that I, you know, I think it's, it's we'll take a look at it. <laughs> Now, she likes to laugh at things, but for her to laugh at Joe Biden, why are Democrats running from this president? It, it really uh, it boggles the mind to think that anybody can look at this president and think that he is going to be capable of running for president two years from now. He is not capable of doing the job of president right now today. And to think that another two years of this mental decline, that he's going to be able to, even if he hides in his basement again and doesn't go out and campaign, that he would somehow be electable in a Democrat primary. It's impossible. So they're all playing the game right now. They don't want to, to disparage their pre, you know, president of their party. Uh, but sometimes even AOC lets the cat out of the bag, uh, uh, laughs about it because they all know. That's an impossibility. It's not going to happen. All right. Friday, Bill Maher took the New York Times to task for ignoring the threat to Justice Kavanaugh's life. Listen to this one. The New York Times buried this. Yeah, it was like if a this tiny had been thing a, below the fold. If this had been a liberal Supreme Court justice that someone came to kill, it would, have been on the, it would have been on the front page. Every major Sunday morning political talk show yesterday ignored the story completely. What's the deal, Rick? Well, not only is the leftist media completely ignoring the story uh, of a United States Supreme Court justice, an assassination attempt on a United States Supreme Court justice to try to prevent Roe v. Wade from being overturned. Not only did the media ignore it, Nancy Pelosi had the nerve to say, there's no danger. Nobody's in danger. Well, there's no reason for us to ramp up security for the. I mean, it, it it's right there in front of us, and they're still willing to say, uh, that there's not a problem here or try to ignore it. And and Bill Maher, right on the money. I appreciate his intellectual honesty. Disagree with him on most stuff, but at least he's willing to call him out for these kind of yeah, things. Yeah, same thing with Dershowitz. He's intellectually honest. Okay, yeah, we got a minute here. Exactly. You're the constitutional expert. Is the president misusing the Defense Production Act to manufacture more solar panels and e-vehicle batteries? It's unbelievably absurd. It's absolutely unconstitutional. This is a dictatorship now where he is trying to control industry over his political agenda. The, the, the climate issue has nothing to do with national defense. We are not at, in an actual war right now where you would normally have to team up with industry like a World War II situation or it actually uh, was started in, and, and passed in the Korean War. But we think of the World War II situation where everybody got on board to win that war. That's the type of thing where you uh, implement the DPA. This is an abuse of power, but let's be honest, again, intellectually honest, Donald Trump did it to, to get ventilators made, which was an absolute disaster and other things. So both presidents in COVID did this, but now it's gone even further where there's not even a threat and they're using it uh, yeah. to, to try to control industry. Rick Very Green. bad for us constitutionally. Rick Green, you're intellectually honest. Thank you for the, your analysis. Mike, back to you.